Good morning, Emerson. I'm here at the Charles Sumney Elementary School to see our next performer, Louis Bello. Louis not only performs music, but teaches it. So let's head on in to see if we can learn a thing or two from one of Boston's most famous R&B singers. Well, oh, um, I'm a singer, songwriter. Uh, I used to I used to write for Sony. Had a publishing deal years ago, and uh, you know the business it's a tough business. I've been to a lot of places. I've been in a lot of spots, you know, good and bad. And you know, throughout my career, I've always come back to helping out other artists and younger artists that are trying to make it in the business. And I decided to get into teaching because, you know, my passion is working with kids. As long as you love me, we could be starving, we could be homeless, we could be broke. How do you sort of balance being a teacher and being a musician? Absolutely. Well, especially being a music teacher. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I was a classroom teacher, you know, it'd be a little different. They have a little more demanding schedule. But as a, as a music specialist, it allows me a little more freedom to teach the kids and also keep doing what I want to do. So my sound is, is R&B, pop, uh, with a really a big soulful influence. So like the Frank Sinatra, I love the, the smoothness of his voice and you know the Stevie Wonder you know with his the, the soul with his runs and riffs Brian McKnight uh, you know big influence on me vocally mm -hmm. but musically I work with so many different producers that I get inspired by I think I think basically trying to make it be a living mm -hmm. is the hardest thing for any artist and I know myself I've been in the business for a long time I've been close to the top down to the bottom Louis Bello has worked with some renowned artists and has traveled all over the world. And now he's traveled to our backyard to perform later on in the show. Until then, back to Ian and Megan in the studio.